Hello guys, how's it going? So today in this quick tutorial, uh, I just want to show you how you can actually run Doxygen from inside Qt Creator, okay? The reason why I need to do that is because, first of all, I love to run the, the documentation, so Doxygen, quite a bit while I'm working on it. And lately I'm starting appreciating more and more Qt Creator as an IDE. So I'm starting using more and more for my work. So uh, I also started decided to to start documenting my code properly and using Doxygen. Okay. So usually I was running that from terminal, but as I said, I wanted to check really often. Pretty much everything that I was doing, I was checking as was coming in documentation. So running that from terminal, like 2,000 time a minute, was starting getting tedious. So I needed to find a solution for that. And I figure out how you can actually run it from inside uh, the creator, which is quite simple actually, and I'm going to explain you how to do that. So first of all, uh, let's quickly install, install Doxygen, and you can easily do that with sudo apt-get install and then Doxygen and then Doxygen GUI. I already installed that, so it's gonna it's gonna say that I already have installed it. I actually have some library. To remove, but I'm going to remove that later, and then we are good to go. So I have Doxygen. You see, I have Doxygen and Doxy Wizard installed. Which Doxy Wizard? It's just uh, a GUI that let me quickly set up a Doxygen Doxygen project. And I'm going to show you right now how to use it. So let's go inside uh, one of my projects, which is called Titan Engine, and Oh, sorry, you know, is that directory? I forgot the CD. So now I'm inside this di directory. I want to make another directory called doc. And that's is where I want to place my uh, my documentation. Okay, so now let's go to run the doxy wizard and let's see how to do that. So first of all, we just need to to say in which folder we are running doxygen, which is going to be this one. Then let's give it a title. Where the heck am I writing? Okay, here. Titan engine. No synopsis. Version is going to be one. I don't want the logo for now. Source code directory is the same. We have here scan recursively, so it's gonna find all the files. And our destination is going to be Doxygen. Sorry, doc folder. Then we do next. Here everything is fine, everything is fine, I just don't want latex, latex, I already spell it. Diagram generator is fine, so let's just save that. Control S, doxy file, let's store in Titan engine folder. Perfect. So now we should be good to go. So now if I run doxygen, then doxy file, you see it created the documentation. So if we open the folder now I'm open. We go in doc. We have an HTML folder, and that's all the stuff created by the by the Doxygen compile. So if we go down, we should find an index, and here we go. And this is going to that's the result. So this is the main page here. We will need to write an introduction, blah blah blah. Then we have classes. We have just two classes for now. And we see nothing is documented. That's the default stuff that we have, but uh, I don't know. I don't have any uh, method uh, documented or anything. And that's we're gonna do that now, really quick. Okay, so let's get that out of the way, and let's run Qt Creator really quick. Let's open Titan Engine, and now uh, how can I run? Documentation is really, really simple. I just need to add a custom step in the build process. In order to do that, I just need to go in project. Uh, apologies for here, it's really hard to read just because I changed uh, my OS template to a dark template and now this reading is it's really impossible to read, but don't worry about that. What we have to write is going to be visible. So let's just add a custom process step and 
I don't know if you can read that, but it says here it wants a command, which is just going to be Doxygen. And then we need to give arguments, which the only argument is going to be is going to be where our our doxy file is. So I'm going to the full path to that. Okay. So once we have that, that's it. That's the only thing I have to do. Okay. So if I do that, uh, I just build it, and let's see. We have a huge amount of warnings, and those are not my warnings. Not because my code is crappy and doing something I shouldn't do, but you see, this is all Toxygen warning. They say this uh, thing is not documented. This other thing is not documented because if I go in the project, I get rid of the custom custom things. Let's do custom steps. Sorry, let's clean up and build. I just get two warning. Just and that's my fault. That just two crappy things probably I'm doing. I will need to fix that. But let's add the custom process step again. Toxygen. That's the path. And let's run it. I get a shitload of warning. Okay? So that's fine. So let's go quickly and let's do a comment. So let's say. Oh, nice. Autocomplete from. From Kitty Creator. That's nice. So this is the constructor. And let's do another one. Oh, that's awesome! It's automatically filling up, filling up everything for me. Oh my god, I love Qt Creator. I always had to do that manually. Okay, so this is the constructor, and now let's quickly comment out. Let's comment the the different uh, arguments. So this. This is the particle or position. This is the velocity of the particle. They are not really useful, those comments, because I'm just repeating what the argument says, but whatever. This is the acceleration. This is the dumping of the particle let's give it a more meaningful comment so for like for now just to fix numerical approximation here we go this is the one over mass of the particle all right so we quickly commented that let's give it a run Let's open again our index, which I still have an open here. We just refresh, and ta-da! You see, now we have a nice and documented class. So this is the default constructor. Not much saying about it. And here it says again, this is constructor. Constructor. If you want to know more, let's jump just back where there is the detail documentation. So you see, it's giving also the, all the parameters with the all the sorry all the comments we added in so okay you see it's running it's working let's give it a quick go now let's add a huge lol like that i run it i build it and uh, let's go back here let's fresh and we have lol the huge lol here okay so there was that's, that's it. You see, it's really simple, but it's super useful to comment nicely your code. Okay, guys, have a nice one. See you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.